Hello friends, welcome to another video from my series Quick Thoughts On, in which I always talk about different stories from the rich Star Trek universe. 30 years and a bunch of weeks ago, the next episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation premiered. It was called Hollow Pursuits, and these are my honest opinions about it. We start the episode at 10 forward, where Gainan claims that she doesn't want any trouble, and the trouble in question is the new lieutenant, called Reginald Barkley. He tries to impress Diana Troy, who is for some reason very interested in him, and he manages to assault both of his superior officers, Jordi and Riker. So how does a middle-aged, balding, nerdy-looking guy defeat these guys? Well, he doesn't. This is all just a holodeck simulation, and the real Barkley is late to work. Again. This is a great intro, and it feels uh, that it is giving us everything we need to know about the character of Barkley, but we still get some exposition in the form of a dialogue between the real Jordi and the real Riker. They don't like him because, well, basically he's a socially awkward nerd who nobody wants to be around, and he's always late to work. And the fact that I could identify with this guy when I was a teenager perfectly makes me kind of sad. They have a mechanical problem. The hover thingy doesn't work and one container gets damaged and leaks stuff on the hands of another officer. I am not going to talk about technical details, because it's all just techno babble. The only important thing we need to know is that a sci-fi liquid got on the hands of one of the characters, so Barkley of course gets the task of finding out what went wrong, God damn it, I never realized how similar he is to me a few years back. Finding out what went wrong used to be my day job, and even now it is a tiny part of my job. Anyway, Riker and Jordi went to Picard to complain about Broccoli, how Wesley nicknamed him. But Picard is a real captain, he's not Captain Alita Battle Angel from the short track called uh, The Trouble with Edward. Do you remember how that captain immediately got rid of Edward, who was also a socially awkward nerdy guy? Well, Picard is actually a good person and a good captain, so he orders his men to try to befriend Barkley. They are all Starfleet officers, after all. That's actually a good advice. I have met in my life a lot of people who suffer from different mental issues, and the funny thing is that I never had problems befriending them or interacting with them. I have even worked in a company where the senior software analyst had uh, something, I'm not sure if it was Tourette syndrome or something else, but he was able to switch from being perfectly calm and logical to pretty aggressive and sometimes even violent. A couple of times he almost punched me, but I have pretty good reflexes. Everybody was terrified of him, but the management refused to fire him because the guy was a literal definition of a crazy genius. So they sent me to him as a prank on my first day at work, and they were shocked to find out that I wasn't afraid of him, but I knew how to communicate with him. So from that day on, I was the company's quote-unquote interface between him and anybody else. That's one of the many reasons why I got so heated during my review of that specific short track, and I still get pissed when I remember how they treated the poor Edward in that episode. So Jordi tries to ask Gainan to help him how to deal with Barkley, because she also has no problems dealing with him. Come on people, it's not that hard, just behave normally. He tries to befriend Reg, and uh, that is the part of the plot which is really hard to describe. The part which is a kind of a psychological study of Reg Barkley. 
There is also a sci-fi plot going on at the same time. The transporter gets broken, and the when the technicians go to a drink to discuss it, one of the cups falls apart. So the gimmick of this episode is that Reg has developed a holodeck addiction, and he makes very special holograms. He created a goddess of empathy who looks and sounds like a very sexy version of Troy, and the bridge officers are kind of a parody of uh, French musketeers. And he, of course, is the best in everything. Jordi looks like he accidentally shown his browser history to his parents when he sees one of the programs. But honestly, he's pretty understanding because he himself fell in love with the image of Leia Browns a few episodes back. He suggests that Red should go to therapy, which he doesn't want to, and he prefers to go to Holodeck again. But this time, he is needed on the bridge, so both Troy and Riker join Jordi on his trip to Holodeck, and of course they all are pissed when they find out what's he doing there. Barkley is so ashamed that he wants to leave the ship, but thankfully for us, he doesn't. A new problem appears on the ship, the ship itself starts to speed up with no control, so everybody in Jordi's team starts to desperately try to find out what the reason for all of these incidents might be, and it's Barkley and his special brain who finds out that the problem is actually them. The first guy was infected by a compound when the canister leaked in the beginning of the episode and he infected the whole team and they damaged the equipment they were touching. So they now know what to do. They stop the ship and bring it to Starbase 121, I think, for a complete decontamination. And the ending of the episode... uh, is trying to pull your heart strings. Barkley goes to the bridge and has a heartful speech about how much he is going to miss everybody, and everybody tells him how much they are going to miss him. And as soon as you start to think that he is leaving the Enterprise, he switches the holodeck off. So yes, he was telling goodbye to his virtual friends, he has decided to try to become a valid member of the crew, which means we will see him in a couple of more episodes in both Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Voyager, plus of course he will appear on the big screen too. So, what can I say? I actually really love this episode. It has humor, it has a good sci-fi premise, it has a good mystery, it has a good social commentary, The only thing it misses is action. A few of the parts are unfortunately a bit too boring. Gaiden's role in this episode is practically pointless. Her role should actually go to Deanna Troy. I mean, she's the counselor. It almost feels like the script didn't really count with Gaiden and that she was written in in the last moment when Whoopi Goldberg had some free time. Dwight Schultz, uh, who plays Barkley, he provides a great performance as Reginald Barkley, and I assume that he is not just my favorite guest star, but that he is a fan favorite, because, as I said, he did come back multiple times. If I remember correctly, Dwight was even voicing Barkley in a video game. Overall, in my standard scale, from 0 to 10, where 0 is complete garbage, 10 is a masterpiece, and 5 is just average, I would give this episode 8 out of 10. This is definitely one of the classics, but as always, these were just my opinions, let me know what did you think about this episode, did you love it, hate it, or do you agree with my rating? 
let me know down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you very soon when we will talk about the episode called The Most Toys. Thanks again and bye.